We're excited to take you along on our foodie adventure as we try some of the best spots for seafood and local cuisine in Aruba. Join us as we give you a glimpse into our island's history, explore Aruba's breathtaking natural beauty, and discover why Aruba is truly a melting pot in the culinary world. And how could we leave out our dreamy and pristine white sandy beaches? It's time for our island adventure. Let's go! The first restaurant on our list to visit is one of the most sought out restaurants on the island. Known for their fresh seafood and easygoing vibe, a true seated table experience with a local touch. We ordered their fresh catch of the day, which was wahoo, seasoned to perfection, served with a side of shrimp, fries, pambati, ciboyo, and of course a cold beer to wash it all down with. Sayover makes for a perfect pit stop to have lunch during a day of island adventure, or save it for later to catch the breathtaking sunset view. And now we make our way to one of the oldest and most well-known restaurants on the island, Driftwood. Located in downtown Aranyastok, they are without a doubt one of the best when it comes to seafood cuisine in Aruba, as they have their very own fishing charter and serve their fresh catch to guests, making for a meal to remember. We chose a few of their popular menu standouts, and our server delighted us with shrimp cocktail, escargot, and for the main attraction, wahoo, drizzled in a garlic butter sauce. This dish was simply delicious and bursting with all of the right flavors. Driftwood is a favorite among locals and visitors alike. The owners and staff put their heart and soul in their dishes and service, and it definitely shows. Next, we are heading past the airport towards Savaneta by the Spanish Lagoon to an old hidden gem, a true local family-run restaurant, Marina Pirata. It may be a bit further to get to from where you're staying, but trust us, you'll see it's worth the trip. The owners served us some of their most popular dishes, fried funchi, conch in a jewel-worthy garlic sauce, and their specialty fresh seafood platter, including fish, lobster, shrimp, and more. Situated down on the water, its unique location and friendly service makes for a one-of-a-kind and relaxing local dining experience. It wouldn't be proper island dining without a view of Aruba's mesmerizing blues. Pelican's Nest is located on a pier in the heart of Palm Beach, a popular location for fun, food, and drinks. In addition to their fresh seafood dishes and refreshing cocktails, it's the perfect place for people in boat watching, as there's a lot of action out on the water. It was quite hard to choose which dishes to try, as there are so many great choices on the menu. We ended up going with the coconut shrimp and the fish tacos. Let's just say we were not disappointed. Another seafood specialty dish we'd recommend trying is their Martin seafood platter. We could have easily ordered another drink and sat on that pier for hours, but we have more dining and reporting to do, so on we go. All right guys, we've made it to our second to last stop, West Deck, which is located on the water just past Renaissance Marketplace near the downtown area. It's a fun spot full of vibrant Caribbean colors and friendly island charm. We ordered the funchi topped with keishi, which is cheese and papimento, conch fritters, and the fish and shrimp ceviche. Don't forget to ask for their specially made pica and ciboyo. It's a perfect garnish for any dish you order there. And now for our final stop, located on the world famous Eagle Beach, Elements Restaurants of Bakuti and Tara Beach Resort. Elements is known for their top-notch romantic beach dining and extensive and specialized menus, including fresh seafood, vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free options, as well as an assortment of local ingredients and produce. We tried their new authentic Aruban and Caribbean buffet. So, as you may have guessed it, we tried a bit of everything. After all, isn't that what buffets are for? Some of our favorites were the Johnny Cake, Pan Bati, Conch Salad, and the Seafood Paella. Well guys, our foodie adventure has sadly come to an end.
We hope our adventure inspired you to plan your own dining experience in Aruba, and we cannot wait to bring you along on our next foodie adventure.